The Legendre symbol is a useful notation to help us work through calculations involving quadratic residues. This symbol is read as a on p and is always written like a fraction inside of parentheses. Definition. If p is an odd prime, then a on p is equal to 1 if a is a quadratic residue modulo p, it's 0 if p divides a, and negative 1 otherwise. We will now prove some basic properties of the Legendre symbol. Theorem. If p is an odd prime and a and b are relatively prime to p, then these three equations hold. The first equation is true just by the definitions and the basic arithmetic facts about congruences. When working modulo p, we can freely replace one symbol with another that is equivalent to it, modulo p. The second equation is true because of the corollary at the end of the previous section. It comes down to checking four cases and thinking about whether the exponents are even or odd. This is how the logic looks when both a and b are quadratic residues modulo p. In this case, if g is a primitive root modulo p, we must have that a and b are equivalent to g raised to an even power. When we multiply these together, we get that a b is equivalent to g raised to an even power, which implies that a b is a quadratic residue modulo p. The logic is similar for the other three cases. We won't talk through all the details because it's just a matter of talking about even and odd exponents. For the third equation, we also need to look at cases. If p divides a, then the Legendre symbol is 0 by definition, and we can see that a to the p minus 1 over 2 is congruent to 0 mod p by direct calculation. Combining these two statements together proves the result. If p does not divide a, then we must have a to the p minus 1 over 2 is congruent to plus or minus 1 mod p. We will then use the Euler's criterion to investigate the two situations. If a is a quadratic residue modulo p, then the Legendre symbol is equal to 1, and Euler's criterion directly tells us that a to the p minus 1 over 2 is congruent to 1 modulo p, which gives us the result. If a is not a quadratic residue modulo p, then the Legendre symbol is negative 1, and Euler's criterion tells us that a to the p minus 1 over 2 is not congruent to 1 modulo p. By the observation above, this shows us that a to the p minus 1 over 2 is congruent to negative 1 mod p, which gives us the result. It turns out that we can extend this definition to include non-primes. The symbol we use is known as the Jacobi symbol, and it looks identical to the Legendre symbol. Although this may initially seem confusing, the way things are defined turns out to be a very natural extension. Definition. Suppose m is an odd integer. Write m as a product of odd primes, not necessarily all distinct, and we can define the Jacobi symbol using this formula. The symbols on the right-hand side of the equal sign are Legendre symbols. We won't do a lot with this right now, but it turns out to have some applications similar to the things we'll be seeing in upcoming sections. Thank you for watching this video. I'm currently dabbling with the idea of creating more videos like these for my classes, and I welcome constructive comments that might help me make better videos in the future.